The 1912 Gonzales Tractor Biplane As one of the first successful airplanes built in the San Francisco Bay Area, the Gonzales Tractor Biplane is a rich part of aeronautic history. A history that is surrounded by the life of 15-year-old twin boys, Willie and Arthur Gonzales. Innovators from an early age, Willie and Arthur were always coming up with new designs, including the Gonzales No. 1 tractor biplane. They designed the biplane themselves using photographs and drawings of many of the early airplanes seen in the area. They constructed the framing primarily from pine and small amounts of spruce, and the wing support wires are attached with bicycle spokes and spoke adjusters. The Gonzales biplane was built in the backyard of their home at 435 16th Avenue in San Francisco. They built the Gonzales No. 1 biplane over the course of two years from 1910 to 1912 with help from their brother, Eddie Gonzales. The Gonzales twins learned to fly using kite-type gliders on the sand dunes behind their home. Children from the surrounding area would often come to stand and watch the brothers work on the plane or fly gliders over the dunes. With ideal updrafts coming off the coast, the dunes would be the perfect place for them to test their aircraft that would one day become a major part of aeronautic history. But running a plane engine in a residential neighborhood would prove to have its drawbacks. Several of the Gonzales neighbors filed complaints about the noise the plane engine was making during the twins' tests. Eventually, the city of San Francisco passed a noise ordinance that prevented flying machines from operating within city limits. In 1912, the Gonzales biplane was ready for its debut flight. However, noise ordinance looming, if they wanted to fly it, they would have to find a new runway. Their passion for flying would not die so easily. Determined to fly their biplane, the brothers disassembled and crated the plane. They moved it back and forth by train to a location just past Travis Air Force Base in Woodland, where they would camp and spend time working on and flying their plane. Nephew of the twins, Bob Gonzalez, recalls, These flying trips would last about two weeks. They would do their flying, experimenting, or whatever they had to do, just enjoying themselves. When the food or the gas ran out, whichever came first, I'd imagine, they would load the airplane back into the box and wave down the train for the trip back to San Francisco. Later, the Gonzales brothers operated a flying school and aircraft manufacturing business from the ground floor of their home. Nephew of the twins, Bob Gonzales, recalls, We do not know if they ever had a student or ever sold an engine. In 1915, the Gonzales brothers moved to Los Angeles and took the biplane with them. My uncle saved everything, all of their old props, old lumber, and the American flag they had when they were flying. The biplane was kept in my grandmother's basement for years. When my last uncle died in 1975, I went to Los Angeles to get the airplane. I brought back everything I could and began to sort through it. They had a lot of designs, drawings, and letters, and old photographs. The center section of the fuselage was rebuilt from the original plans. However, all other parts of the airplane are original. A Kemp four-cylinder vertical engine powered the Gonzales Brothers tractor biplane and surprisingly rotates opposite of standard engines. The Kemp engine that is displayed on the aircraft is the original engine and is still operable to this day. In 1981, Bob Gonzales began looking for a suitable museum to preserve the Gonzales No. 1 airplane. Recently, the Gonzales No. 1 was on loan to the Hiller Air Museum in San Carlos, California. Now, the Jimmy Doolittle Museum is proud to welcome the Gonzales No. 1 biplane to its new home at the Nuttree Center for Patriotism. <laughs>